Hey everybody, this is Arathas, and welcome to The Colonists, a game that actually launched today. And by launched, I mean actually launched, not into early access, so it's gonna be a little bit weird playing a colony building game that's not in early access for me. But here we are. As far as I know, the story is that you are a team of robots that have been dropped on a planet in order to colonize it. So, let's just get right to it then, shall we? Oh, an actual campaign too, not a sandbox. And what is this, like, peaceful and combat paths? Either way, let's find out. After countless years traveling through space, you find a habitable planet. A new dawn. Okay. By the middle of the 21st century, significant advancements had been made in the fields of robotics and artificial intelligence. Scientists had begun developing self-aware, printable robots capable of simulating human needs for sustenance and shelter. I mean, that would make sense if they can simulate those needs, they can colonize a planet with the idea towards meeting those needs so when the humans showed up, shit would be ready for them. Faced with an indefinite future of servitude, one group of robots hatched a plan to create a new life for themselves. Realizing there would be no place on Earth they could enjoy freedom without persecution, they looked to the heavens. Oh, okay, so it's complete opposite. We're not preparing it for humans, we're running from humans. They commandeered the nearest rocket ship and flew out into the darkness of the solar system in search of a new home where they would be fulfill their they would be free to fulfill their dream to be human. Interesting. This is a very small landmass you guys landed on. At last, Terra Firma. We have finally reached a habitable planet and we can set our wheels to the ground. You are Dronebot Arathas, and are in charge of colony operations. This looks like a good island to test our anthrorobotic systems. While your crew are unloading your few starting resources, here are some basics. Rotate, yep. Pretty basic. You can also use your mouse to move around. Right click and drag. Mouse wheel. Tilt. Gotcha. You have a few resources to get started. You can see how many of each resource you currently have in storage in the bottom left of the screen. Click the flashing logs to open the resource info panel. So you currently have 16 logs. Tell you how many logs you currently have stored and how much that number has changed. Cool. Graphs. Click the highlighted tab to go to the logs overview. This section tells you how many logs you're producing and how many are in demand. This is a good panel to check when you're producing enough of a resource. Logs are important construction, but you're going to need a lot more logs. Let's build a lumberjack hut. Please tell me how to build a lumberjack hut. Menu after menu. Arrows will tell you which resources the building produces and the resources required to do so. So you need energy and a tree to make logs. Yeah, no. I mean, that's pretty basic. Oh, you're just going to tell me where to put it? I don't get any freedom. Fine. Really primitive hut compared to that spaceship. Good. Your lumberjack hut needs logs for it to be constructed, though. Uh, you can see there is an outstanding demand for logs. Click on the flashing logs icon in the lumberjack building. Pounce tells you progress. Yeah. You have some logs in but there's no route to your lumberjack hut yet, as indicated by the yellow alert icon. Build some roads. Roads. Yep, I, I, I selected it. Yeah, pretty sure I know how to do this. <laughs> Great, each road has a carry bot which moves resources between the posts at either end of the road, depending on where the resources need to go. Excellent. The stack bot for the lumberjack hut will then pick up the resources and the build bot will be able to construct the building. Excellent. Build my building. You can do this. I like that we can pretty much... Yeah, it's a bouncing zoom. <laughs> Lumberjack hut is complete. Now the colony ship will print a lumber bot and they will head to the new building. I like how automated that is. Pretty laid back game, frankly. Which is fine. You don't really need a super complex uh, colony builder every time. Like, I like that I don't have to, like, actually manually assign somebody there. It's like, look, we'll send a lumberjack over. 
Production panel tells you the need, status, and current output of a building. Subbots, such as lumber bots, need extra power to carry out their job. Extra power provided by the energy resources tells you the lumberjack needs only one energy resource per day to keep working. Cool. Generate additional energy L1 at residences. So let's build your first residence. So I need homes. How much energy this residence can generate? Uh, R to rotate. That would make sense. So why did that look like a toilet? That looked like a toilet. Change the game speed. Nice. Yeah, it almost looked like a toilet. It does. Yeah, yeah no, that's a toilet. <laughs> Residence is finished, but as the icons above the energy show, the house spot doesn't have the required resources yet to begin the energy. Begin production of energy L1. Needs water. Build a well. Hmm. Interesting. Buildings uh, buildings also don't need to be placed directly on roads. They can be connected to a road by a path. Paths are secondary routes that allow a building stack bot to reach a road post. This allows you to be more flexible with your building and road placement. Cool. The other resident's need was food. This means fish or meat. We're near the shore and have several jumping fish tiles available, which can be farmed by a fishing hut. Of course, a fishing hut. For robots. Uh, what? Oh, okay, I can also flip. That's actually kind of cool. I wish other games gave me that option. Get to it! Now get to fishing. You heard me, get to fishing. There you go, fishing. Speed up time. Don't have time for this nonsense. <laughs> and we'll soon have some fish for your residence. Yes, fisher bot. You have some stone uh, outside your territory. Yes, right there. You can mine this deposit with a surface mine, but only once the deposit's inside your territory. Build a watchtower to expand your borders. You'll need to choose where to build the watchtower yourself, but you'll need to place it near the border so you can access the stone deposit. Alright. Watchtower. Here. And then a road. There we go. Build. You can also remove buildings. Yep, yep. Wait, you still can't? Man. I need a, I need a path, don't I? There you go. Build. Don't know why it didn't just let me take the road all the way up there, but whatever. It's a lovely little colony. For robots. Who need food. <laughs> Are we sure we're not just in robot suits? I like how he's just sitting there handing him crap. Great, watchtowers take a little longer to build, though. While your watchtower is being built, let's construct a forestry to plant some more trees. That's good to see. That's always a fun feature to have. Uh, yeah. I kind of just want to build it right here. Let's build it here. 
actually. Get to it. And done. You control where the tree bot plants their trees. Follow the yellow icons on the forestry building to allocate some tiles. Oh, okay. How about that? Plant some trees. Well done. This means you won't run out of trees for lumber bots to create logs out of. Cool. There is expanded. Now I can build a surface mine. Does it need to just be built next to it or what? If that's the case, I'm just going to build it right here. I'm going to build a road. Boom. Done. Not my favorite little layout, but it'll work. Nice work. Your miner bot will now head off and begin harvesting stone. You may have noticed the surface mine also requires energy L1. Check the colony's energy demands. Hmm. Zero. Alright, so... They demand I produce 1.3 a day. Potential for three. So demand is now greater than the supply. Build two more residences. I can do that. And I'll just build them up here. Probably should have built them down here because of the well and the food, but oh well. Build another fishing hut. Okay. I will build another fishing hut. See, they can go side by side by side by side. Okay. Get to fishing, my fisher bots. Fish. Please? You have a functioning colony and your skills are looking promising. When you're ready, it's time to move on to somewhere with a bit more space. That's what I was hoping to hear. This is not enough space for me. I need more. I need to establish an empire. Hell's dark at this one. Yay! This location looks a bit more promising. Let's build a small monument to celebrate. A small monument requires more advanced materials, including iron. You're going to need to research technology to upgrade and unlock more advanced buildings. First, though, you can see we haven't got any fish available, so you'll need to build a sheep, a sheep farm. Uh, sheep farms can produce enough food for four residences, but they need some space for sheep to graze. Build a sheep farm at the highlighted location. Holy crap, that's a lot more buildings than I was expecting. Oh, I get it. I need a road. No. Oh, man. I don't like that. Guess I'm going to build it like this. Build the sheep farm. And speed up time. Good. We good. Sheep pastures. I have. Oh, over here. Oh, you need 50? Jesus. That is a big ass sheep pasture. Probably not in reality, but. It still seems a bit excessive. Auto place. Cool. It's time to build the colony on your own. I'll be around to help, though. Cool. I'd like more roads, please.
Let's build some residences. Residence. Nah, it's this. No, I need to actually focus on building something with logs. Logs, I say. Lumberjack hut. Let's say we put that here. Uh, if I can build a road, that'd be great. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, I like that. Nice, nice. Now, residences. Now that we're actually getting trees. One, two, three. I mean, it said it could support four, so I'm gonna make sure it can support four. Now, I know I'm gonna need a well. For the life of me, I cannot remember where the well comes from. Also, sawmill? It makes planks. I don't need planks. Maybe I just put that right here. Yeah, I really don't like that. I need a watchtower. But I also need water, so let's let's start with the water. I'm gonna chop that down a little bit. Water. Yeah, I kind of would like water to be in this area. Now, I can actually just fill this back in. There we go. The will. Now what? Hmm. What don't you have? There's no path. What the hell do you mean there's no path? Oh, pfft. I do not have an actual road in place. Fine. We'll do a path. Build it. Now, I would like another road. Because I would like to come this way. I would like to put in a stone. Thing. Stone thing, really. Surface mine. Right there. At the end of the road. Seems perfect, right? Should also build some warehouses, because holy crap. Put a little bit of space here. like you to continuously fill this space with trees. This way you guys will be busy for a while. I also feel like a large storage yard might just be the ticket. Maybe two of them. I mean, why not, right? Hmm... Uh, watchtower would probably be a good option as well. Oh, hell. Aha. So I could build it over here and we could expand this way. At the moment, there's not a huge need to expand, though. And to expand, I would need to... Get rid of some sheep. Okay, let's do a road. 
I said let's do a road. Cannot do a road. Let's do a path. So what does this say? Uh, there are no resources en route. You don't have to prioritize anything. Okay. Apparently there's no need to prioritize and throw anything in there. Like, is there a set resource? Oh, rules. Let's go with stone or stone? Stone. Add rule. I like the idea of, you know, dividing them up like this. We have bots everywhere that can do this. Also, how's our energy production? I'd like to know. Oh, we doing just fine. Current demand is three. We can produce 4.3. Theoretically. Like, I still have no idea what I'm going to build out this way. But I think it might be a good idea to build another watchtower over here for that future expansion. Yeah, let's throw that over here. Okay. Okay. Alright, so what do we want to build next? Because it did say I need to do some research. What do you want? Build a small monument. Hmm. Sure. Okay. Let's actually look at what we need. Because I haven't even seen a place for a small monument. Surface mine. There it is. Ha, I need iron and planks. Which does mean that we should probably build... Where is it? Sawmill. Sawmill. There's my sawmill. I'll put the sawmill here, because it's not very far from this. I know I'm going to need some <coughs> houses soon, though. Honestly, I should probably start building those now. Let's go with a road. We'll build some houses over here. It's be like the residential quarter, even though these guys don't need residences. Two. Uh, three. If I wanted to, I could even just flip that around. We just call this some oceanfront property and some water. You know. I can put a well over. Yeah, that seems like a good enough place for a well right across from it, right? Also. We're back up to max on that. Cool. So is this iron? Where to where do I get iron? Hmm. I mean, the sawmill isn't doing anything yet. Why was problem? Outgo outgoing resource queue is full. Just log. Oh, you've already made planks. Holy crap. Uh. Planks? Iron? 
iron? Okay, so it says I can make some iron. How, though? Apparently my mind doesn't do it. Okay, I have some energy surplus. Blast furnace. How do I get a blast furnace? Construction one. I need a workshop to research. Is apparently how I do this. I'll throw this here. Dude, what happened? Oh, you were waiting for a room to open up? Cool, cool, cool. What does this mean? What does this mean? Like, seriously, what's going what, what does that mean? Productivity, okay. Select research. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, we are going to learn construction. Okay, we're going to learn scaffolding. Get to it. Oh, wow. Takes energy and planks. Well, it's a good thing we have it, huh? You know, I quite like this game already. Okay, so this says productivity is dropping? Why? How dare productivity drop? Stone masonry. It's not a lot of oh holy crap, I was about to say there's not a lot of technology here. Nah, we got we got categories. Kind of feel like we need to learn agriculture. So we can get some more food up in here. Either way, seems to be work our colony seems to be plugging away just fine. Yeah, we're not even making a dent in this. Stone masonry has been researched. Give me construction speed. And we'll go to construction one. I know we need construction one regardless, but I kind of want to just get the rest of this done. Do we have a roadblock there? What the hell? Oh, I like that they relay. That's cool. That's why the posts are important. It's their relay point. I like that a lot, actually. We're almost out of stone. Is there another stone deposit? Uh, coal. But no stone. Oh, stone over here. I can get to that. Give me road. Or not. Ha! You want me to cut all this down is what you want. What's this? Oh. Sometimes it can be useful to remove a wall to allow roads or paths in certain directions. Click on the side of a valid empty tile to snap it to height. Eh. Okay, it's not doing it. Alright, so. So, so, so. I should probably build another forester's hut. Actually, not a forester's hut, just a lumberjack hut. To let me cut through these trees. Which I'm not being permitted to do. Hmm. That's a shame. I feel like this needs to go. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm building another well. Maybe. There it goes. Build the other well right here. I'm going to bulldoze this well. Yep. I'm going to build a lumberjack hut here. 
Oh, come on. Let me build the lumberjack hut. That's some nonsense. Can I just remove? No. Can I build sideways like this? Ooh, I can. Well, I guess what we gonna do? Here you go. Get that stuff cut down. So you already researched something, right? Construction one, let's do it. Because then I can build a blast furnace. And supposedly that gets me... That gets me stuff I need. Oh, and I'm not even going to regrow this stuff. This place regrows. This stuff just clear cuts. Okay, we're gonna build some houses now. Two, three, that's good for now. I'm gonna go with the road, if I can. I cannot. I cannot. Fine. I'll just build a path. Our people can still do this just fine. Even without your help. <laughs> yeah, this is clearing up just nicely. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need more food though, I know that already. So once construction one is done, I need to build a farm. Or I need to start researching a farm. Come on, you're almost there. You've researched construction one. Means I can re I can upgrade. And I'm gonna need mining one. Okay, cool. So, actually no, I have not researched that in the slightest. Oh, I have now. Okay, weird. Mining. Agriculture first. Because I need to be able to supply more power. Okay. I'm going to come over here. And we are going to build a watchtower. Sorry, what did that say? You've accessed the level two of this building. Click the tabs at the top of the room. Okay, change the building. Except I don't have arrows or any of that crap. So we're just going to build level one of the watchtower because I just need to expand my reach. Hold on. Why? Well, I'm just trying to open this stuff up, 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 up enough to try to reach this eventually. And it looks like I still can't. All right, we're gonna go with a road. Let's take the road all the way to the end. Will you be able to reach all the way over here? I'm actually curious. If when that's built, this guy can just go over here now. That's the hope. Whether it happens, I don't know. Let's get you to research wheat farming. Oh, okay. Mining, then. Mining. Hell yeah, he can. Can I upgrade you? Stone and planks. Do it. You don't upgrade. Okay. I mean, it was worth a shot, right? But it is these things that do. Excellent. 
Okay, I want a road. What? The road just goes there and you're gonna chop all these trees, do it. You not... Oh, I can upgrade you now. Upgrade him now. We have no more stone. Well, no more stone to mine. We do have stone. What happens if I upgrade you? Which you can't do, but what happens? You get to actually attack. You don't just stretch out my territory. Okay, okay. So he's done now. This can't do anything now. Cool. Yep. You now have a level 2 workshop. I know. Now, shall we build another one of these so I can access that stone? Ooh. There. That'll work out nicely. Okay, you get to now research. I'm gonna go back one though. I want my wheat farming. Cause then I have food, more food. And energy production should increase substantially. I'm also gonna try to upgrade you guys. Can't upgrade the sheep farm? Damn it. <laughs> but the whale, can I upgrade the whale? No. I have the resources to upgrade all this shit, right? I have found it, it's right here. People need to build this. I'll have more stone shortly. Except I gotta wait for the little... Yeah, I gotta wait for the bots to bring all the wood over here. Hmm. You now have a level 2 residence, which can generate energy L2, though they require alcohol. Well, don't really have said alcohol. So until I do, maybe not upgrade every residence. You guys can be level 2 residences. Okay, what I need to do is I need another storage yard. I think I'm going to build it right over here. Oh. Stone is quarried by the level 1 surface mine and a shaft of some kind. What am I missing? Oh, energy L2. Psh. What, is, what did mining do for me? Let's go with like just level 1 mining, shall we? And build a shaft mine now. Which means I could probably get rid of you. Let's look for the shaft mine, shall we? You have unlocked the shaft mine. Level 1 shaft mines are powered by energy L2. Can mine coal, iron ore, clay, and salt, as well as mining stone. Specific positions related to the deposit. Oh, really? Huh. In other words, nothing I have. Good to know. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, son of a... 
That's why. Well, crap, that was a huge, huge, huge mistake. Some of my structures need energy L2, and I don't have the means to make it. That truly sucks. That was my own fault. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Surface mine. Nope. Since I don't have energy L2, we're not going to try for that right now. We are, however, going to build this here. And I have to bulldoze this because I made a rather large mistake. Yep, I want to destroy that lumberjack hut. And I want to build a normal one. Except I don't think I have any wood to contribute to that. Oh, I do. I need one more. Come on. Please? Where can I get another one? Oh, this produces a little bit. Did I get resources back for that? No, yeah, I have zero productivity. Cool. Now I'm going to get some wood again. Yeah, don't upgrade that crap is the moral of the story at this point. But I can't produce any alcohol because I can't research any alcohol. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. Ooh. I just need trees and stone. So I can make an orchard and then a cider press. So I think we're going to make the cider press on this side. Is that the orchard I just built? Son of a... Wrong button. Nope, that is the... I want the cider press over here. Pure and simple, right? Then I want the orchard on this side. Cool. And now stone is finally in play again. And so is wood, thanks to this. And pretty soon we'll have level 2 energy. One would hope. I like these supply chain games like this where you have to keep... Ooh, underground iron deposit. And a coal deposit. Well, I'll be damned. So, road... Nah. My friend, you're coming all the way down. Okay, you can't go any farther. Because I have absolutely no problem building guard towers down here. Now, can I build a road starting here? Look at what I can do. Cool. Cider Press has completed construction. What do you need? You need apples. Coincidentally, I'm working on apples. I really need to set something right. Ooh, I, I might be able to do that. Road. No! Or does that... Will that work? It won't. Actually, it does appear to. Make a little connecting point right there. I don't know if it'll help, but, you know, it's fine. 
If I do another lumberjack hut right here, though, I can really speed up the rate at which I'm getting trees, logs, things. Aha! Look at this, we can make this place look nice. Maybe. I actually do really like the look of that. Okay, start producing booze so I can start producing level 2 energy, please. Okay, these are getting built. But a farm. Can't build a farm yet. You have some coal deposits. Build a surface mine. I am going to. Okay, I can build a shaft mine now. There we go. That works. Now, let's build those mines. Surface mine here. And a shaft mine. I have absolutely no idea how you're trying to... Oh, okay. I need to flip it. Why isn't that working? Destroy. I do want to build that over there, but what the hell's going on here? Okay. Trying to figure out how to place this. Oh, like that, okay. That was a weird one. Okay. Now we need to build some stockpiles. I'm gonna do a storage yard here. And we're gonna build another one right here. Probably also wouldn't hurt to, ooh, wow. You can handle that job, right? Okay, might be a good idea to tear this one down. Because my forestry hut can't keep up with both. Yeah, this has to go. Select research. Agriculture. I really would like wheat farming. Food needs to be a priority. Coal. Coal. Coal? Coal. Iron. Not steel. I ain't got steel. Iron. Yeah, this is working very nicely. But yeah, food is a shortage. Is a resource shortage we're dealing with. Tools? Good lord. Okay. In the meantime, it looks like I'm gonna need another sheep farm. Because food is a problem. Alright, so how do we make this other stuff that they want? I mean, I could make the small monument right now, apparently. Let's do that. I'd say right here. Auto place all 50 of them. Yeah, that's fine. Kind of an internal pasture there. Yeah, it works just fine. 
Now with the extra food, our people shouldn't be suffering all that much. Oh wow, are my people really carrying the stone that damn far? I feel like that's a mistake. Then again, my people are bringing wood from all the way the bloody hell up here. I'm gonna build a forestry hut. I'm gonna do it by building a road. Road. Oh crap. Road. Here. I'm gonna build a lumberjack over here. Yeah, I don't mind if you're right there. And a forestry hut. Yeah, right here. And then I can also tell this place right here that it can have some... Uh, what's it called? It can store logs. So what's the problem? Don't recall telling you to get, um... Oh, I have to level them up to get coal, don't I? Man, this is more in-depth than I thought it was going to be. I'm not complaining, though. I quite enjoy it. Cobbled roads. Let's do that. You guys can learn cobbled roads, can't you? Alright, you are going to prioritize replanting all up over here. Make the road all the way down there. You don't need to be prioritized, just do your thing. So, was I supposed to tell you guys? Ah, change resource. Yes. A level 2 surface mine. Well, I'll upgrade that thing then. What's going on? What do you mean it's full? Oh, iron ore, okay. Which means I need a blast something. Blast furnace, wasn't it? Ah, stone. See, now you don't have to transport stone to hell and back. Looking for, like, the smelter now. There's a blast furnace. Which I can put right there. Uh, how's our energy production? I gotta ask. Probably insufficient for our needs at this point. You already a level two? You are. I think I'm going to upgrade all of these. I know I need some level one resources. I know. Can they use level 2 resources, though, if necessary? I think they can. How about you? Oh, hell. I'm not out of stone yet, though. I might actually be. Uh. So I can't upgrade all this. I'd love to, but I can't. That's fine. It was probably a mistake to upgrade everything at once anyway. And there really was no reason to upgrade the sto uh, the that. So it's fine.
Man. Ooh, underground deposit yields unlimited stone. Well, we just found what we need to do. Me out watchtower. Come on. We have a handful of stone left. Oh, I forgot I'm still upgrading this thing. Yeek. What's this say? Blocked roads. What you talking about blocked roads? Oh, I need to have multiple paths. You know, that would make sense. So now that I know all these things, the next game should be much better. to make this. So, how? There we go. And then we'll do a path from here to here. That should get built now. Unless it needs stone and then I'm kind of screwed. We do have some stone left over. So we need four a day. We can produce up to six. I think we're fine. I really do. What you got to say? Iron? One building needs iron. What building is that? Is it you? No, you need planks. Dude, I got planks. You need coal. At least this will get built right now. Oh. Is this ready? It's ready. Okay. Change resource. I need coal. You can start getting me stone. You can good. Start getting me stone. Start getting me iron. Yeah, this needs 20 iron, 10 planks, 20 stone. But yeah, now I can actually focus on getting that thing done. Come on, guys. You guys can do this. You got this. Yeah, I do love games that have like this production assem like this production line. You know, you don't just automatically get tools, you don't just automatically get you know, any material like the cider or whatever. It's cool. Look at all that stone just coming out right on in. Wonder if I can. There we go. Give him an extra path. Okay, we're almost good on iron. All the deliveries are taking place. Things are working well. 
I think I've actually mined enough to do all of it. Like, I don't think there's much to do in terms of, you know, the, like, production tree. I think we're actually there for the mon uh, for the monument. You guys might want to just start applying that stone. It's right here. Where's that going? Does something over here need iron? I didn't think it did. Oh, we almost done. Mission complete. Look at that. Look at our cute little robot. Two years, two months, and 13 days for the silver medal. You know, I gotta say, I really enjoy this game. I'm looking forward to playing some more. So, yeah. Thank you so... Uh, but with this, though, I am all out of time to, for today. So thank you, everybody, so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time for some more of The Colonists. Because I am definitely going to keep playing this game because I really do enjoy this style of game. Either way, we'll see how that goes next time. Thanks again for watching, guys.